Hi, uh, today I'm here to congratulate Pranav. He scored a great rank in the NEET results. He's the son of PV Srinivas and of Yashoda MC. So congratulations to you and your parents. So Pranav, the interview is very simple and the whole objective is what can you pass on to the students coming after you or to the parents on how to prepare for NEET? So in your own words, what are the few things that work for you? For NEET, especially NCRT only is the main thing. Uh, thoroughly you should read NCRT. So without NCRT you can't uh, qualify. NCRT, first you should go through NCRT then after that, after understanding the concepts, then you can move on to other references. Uh, so, so the teachers at uh, CFL, they really help to understand the concepts of NCRT first thoroughly. And then uh, if you have any other doubts, uh, they are very supportive, the teachers at CFL. So that's what I would like to say. Other than that, you should keep solving mock tests, you should solve the questions properly. And you should try to solve different, different types of questions. So those things will really help you in the future to understand the concepts. So there's a notion that in at CFL we don't teach NCRT, we teach only advanced level. What do you say about that? Actually studying advanced level topics will really help to uh, understand the concepts first and then you will know the topic better so that you can read an NCRT textbook and then understand NCRT. So just going through NCRT you may not understand anything but uh, uh, what, what the teachers will teach at CFL the advanced level things, those things also will really help you to understand the concepts first. Then you can solve uh, all the questions. So, you know, I heard that you gave 60 plus mock tests. What was your rigor like? I used to solve around one mock test, one, one mock test every day. So, going through the mock tests, finding out my errors, then looking at them, uh, how can I improve them, how can I solve the questions which I couldn't solve. Them. So, all those things, uh, it took the Time. So every day one mock test was enough for me. So I should solve the mock tests uh, every day. So those things will help you to pick up speed and then improve your techniques and uh, it will really help you to recall the uh, concept first and then uh, apply it properly. At CFL, we ask you to give all tests, right? Mm -hmm. KVPY, Olympiads. Does it really help? Does it doesn't help? Actually, studying for KVPY and JE. It will help you to understand the concept of it. For, for NEET, uh, NCRT is actually enough. Like, so you need not uh, understand, you need not have the deep understanding like for JE, but for JE. For JE and all, you need uh, the thinking kind of uh, capabilities. But uh, for NEET, actually, understanding NCRT is more than enough. So those things you can do. You need not go through the high level. JE. But it really helped you. It really helped us. So one of the things that I was asking Sanjana earlier is that I met a couple of students who have come after many years and said that I've come across students from many places, but after a few years they've lost, they've done it just to get a marks in their exams. But these students are still full of enthusiasm. Did you, did you feel like that? Yes, studying only for the, for the, for the purpose of clearing exams is not the not advisable. You should have that interest in the subject first of all, so that you can keep uh, going through the topic, you can keep uh, researching on that, you can keep looking uh, through various reference materials and then understanding. My, what worked for me was uh, uh, whatever new thing I learned, I used to share it with my teachers, friends, parents. So I should keep keep on sharing everything. So that is what uh, helped me to keep that interest alive. What do you talk about, what is your peer group at CFL? Peer group, uh, yes. Uh, my friends here uh, at CFL, teachers, everyone, they helped me so much. Uh, all the doubts which I had, I, I used to ask my uh, friends, I used to ask the teachers, I used to ask, I used to ask everyone, ever. <laughs> whoever I used to ask, they would help me to understand the concept. If, uh, I used to ask them, like, uh, until the doubt gets cleared, I used to ask them. Okay, that's it. So, if you have got this, let's say there's a 10 standard student listening to this, how would you say to them, what is your advice to them to prepare for NEET? Yes, for NEET, uh, yeah, main thing, NCRT you should focus first, be thorough with NCRT first, then you go through other reference materials. So you should, 
and you should keep your interest alive in the subject you should never lose interest in the subject you should always keep studying the concepts again and again and uh, you read the chapter ncert chapter in the chapter you read you try to recall it again and again you make mind maps you make notes discuss with your friends teachers so you keep the interest on it so there are a lot of students who come and say that they are in middle of right now second year students they've got pretty much no september they're in that state of like i'm not very sure i'm not very motivated did you go through that phase actually for me i from 9th 10th level that time only i my mind was set on me because because of my interest in biology okay. so i i i never had a dilemma between j neat k always neat neat is wrong and you are enthusiasm was always high that's really wonderful so uh, congratulations thank you if there is i know i would ask this question earlier and if parents play a very important role mm-hmm. what's the role that bb shrinivas and yashoda played in your life my parents they are the most supportive people i have in my life <laughs> whatever little thing i have I, i used to share with them they used to listen with so much enthusiasm they never used to push me away like uh, don't come now don't disturb me now. And always they used to come uh, to support me mental support so whatever things i had, i needed to share i used to share with them without any hesitation then my dad especially he gave a lot of moral support for me he used to study a lot uh, any exam let it be give you 100% then let the results you results you can leave it to the god but whatever efforts you need to put you put it so that is what he used to tell my mother also she was very supportive always taking me always taking care of me. it's wonderful to have great parents man and i'm happy that you had so thank you so thank you for being a cfl student thank you thank you for having such a good experience thank you, thank you very much